back to Doki Doki Literature Club on Kill Gaming! Who are you, Crooks? Quake? <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> I'm Hawaii. So, we're, we're playing this game because it was a request from the Emerald Espeon and uh, Braden Puff, and, um... I don't want to play this. I don't. I don't even know what the fuck this is. I don't, I, don't even, I don't even know what this is. I don't. I don't know. Apparently, it's a horror game. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl's story. My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. That's mean. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would ever sleep more and more frequently, and I'd get tired of waiting up. <laughs> but if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> However, I just sigh and I don't in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> I caught you this time! <laughs> Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <sighs> you say that like you're trying, thinking about ignoring me! <laughs> That's mean, crooked! <laughs> well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh. Sick burn! Fine, fine! But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. I think she's cute. But whatever you say, Sayori. Yeah, she's cute. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Crooked, have you decided on a club to join yet? Oh, Jesus. A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't <laughs> been looking either. Eh, that's not true! You told me you joined a club this year! Did I? <laughs> I'm sure it's possible that I did- Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. That sounds uh -huh. real life. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. I mean, Dragon Ball Super and video games, that's, that's what I do. I was talking about how I was worried you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. <laughs> Your happiness is really important to me, you know. You won't have any social skills. Yay. <laughs> I know you're happy now, but I died at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. So a neat is um, <clears throat> someone who doesn't like do anything, so they just live at home their entire life. Uh, here in America, we call them the 30-year-old basement dwellers who... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> basement dwellers. <laughs> you trust me, right? <laughs> Don't make me keep worrying about you. Uh, all right, <laughs> all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Didn't I just fucking say that? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! No, you stop! This is my voice! Okay, sorry. <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Ah, high school. That was my years there. Yeah. Clubs. Oh. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! <laughs> Sayori? Sorry, mustn't must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and then realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. Oh, what? Okay. Fucked it up. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. <laughs> Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I 
I'm impressed! Okay. Jesus. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... No, what? Well, you can come to my club! Sayori? Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> Sayori's vice president of the literature club. Oh god. This is me. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club. Hmm, I wonder. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah. I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well... That looks like a weird pose. <laughs> I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Yeah! <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't... Oh. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an error or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. This is what you do in real life to me. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! <laughs> Unless today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> I dejectedly followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, the section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member's here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy! Way to kill the atmosphere! Uh... <laughs> um... Hmm. Ah, crooked. What a nice surprise! You know, I have a better voice for her. Okay. Welcome to the club! Jesus. <laughs> All words escape me in this situation. <laughs> well, there's three adorable girls. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! What are you looking at? <laughs> if you want to say something, say it. <laughs> S -s Sorry. <laughs> not, not mm -hmm. <laughs> The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody! <laughs> Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy! And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club! Oh, yay. Don't, don't, don't say things like that. Yuri! Oh, <laughs> Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to uh, meet both of you. It sounds like you already know Monica, isn't that right? Monica, technically, but you know what else. That's right! It's great to see you again, Crooked! Oh, Monica dear. smiles sweetly. Did, did you look? She posed like that. What? What? What am I? Why am I playing this? <laughs> we do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monika was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. Awesome. So having her smile at me genuinely, so genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Or Monika. Monika. 
<laughs> Come sit down, Crooked! We made room for the table so you can sit next to me and Monika! I'll get the cupcakes! Hey! I made them! I'll get them! <laughs> Jesus! So, sorry, I, I got a little too excited! Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monika and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner room, where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay! Are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki lifts the foil off tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Meow. The whiskers are drawn so with icing and the little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. Meow. So cute! I had an idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki! <laughs> well, you know. Why? Just hurry and take one. Siri grabs first one, then Monika. I follow. Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki's quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she That'll made it herself. Creepy. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? <laughs> Made them for you or anything? Yeah, I, I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe! Jesus. But not for... You know, you! Dummy! Uh, alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying the tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the, te the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Not wrong. Ah, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Uh, that's that, that's not. Insulted. Yuri looks away. I mean, that you know. I believe like... you. <laughs> well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I like both, you know. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Yeah, you smile to yourself, bitch. Mon Monika raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monika that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed! We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Ledger Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone! Monika, I'm, uh, surprised. How come you decide to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Oh, <laughs> well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and public and how to prepare for events. Publicity, not publicly. Derp. <laughs> I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And it encourages others to get into the literature that I'm fulfilling that dream. Jesus. Monika really is a great leader! <clears throat> Yuri also nods in agreement. Uh, then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. Okay. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to go start something brand new. Especially when something doesn't grab your attention like literature. 
You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. He's getting really into this, you guys. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? You're a long V2. It's <laughs> twice now. You know it! Jeez. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monika must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. You know, Crooked, what kinds of things do you like to read? How did you get you know out of so? <laughs> well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly, myself half joking. Lee? Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? You know what? I think you should comment down below and let us know what you think she likes to read, and we will see you next time! I kissed your Kirby!